Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to today's video where we are working on the Duramax as you can see behind me. Now ever since I bought this truck I've never really been a fan of the stock head unit radio stereo whatever you want to call it that comes in these trucks. So today we're actually going to be changing that. Now I'm not going to show you the head unit I have just yet. I have it in the house. One of the features I was really looking for when purchasing this deck I wanted something not only with a rear view camera but also a front view camera. So the first thing I want to do is actually tackle those. So here's what I have. So this is the stock tailgate handle bezel out of a truck with a rear view camera. Now mine doesn't, so I had to find this. And then this is also a stock OEM rear view camera with the OEM plug on the end of it. Now I purchased this, which is just your regular yellow RCA cable that I will be taking the two video wires out of this, hooking it into here, and then the ignition voltage wire is this red one that's tied into it. So that'll also be tied in and I'll just have to ground it. So that's what I'm doing for the rear. And then for the front, I got this set up off Amazon actually. And it seems like it's a really, really nice piece. So this is actually what I'm using for the front camera. It's actually made out of metal, believe it or not. It's actually really nice. Hopefully the image quality is pretty good. Um, as you can see, it's got an angle on it. So I was gonna try and mount this in the grill somewhere. And then in this bag, you have wiring harness and RCA cable. And then there's a button cord that helps you program it, or not program it, helps you set the image um, zoom and you can shift it one way or the other. And then there's also somewhere in here, there's actually shims that you can put in here. If you don't have it quite the right angle, you can put shims in it. So then you can kind of angle it up, down, whichever way you need it. I'm not overly sure where I'm going to mount it. I want it somewhere around the logo, but when you actually come underneath, of course they had to cut out these sections, which would have been perfect to mount it on. So I think I'm gonna pull the grill out and then just kind of see what I can do as far as mounting goes. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I have the grill taken out, and then here's the camera. Uh, the way this works, you just have the wire sticking out in the middle of this stud, and then you have one nut that secures it down. So then I built this kind of T-bracket. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. It's built out of aluminum, so it shouldn't rust, shouldn't corrode too bad. And then I built it so that I could try and mount it something like this. I'm kind of hoping this might work yeah something along those lines and then it should be facing roughly in the right direction i'm hoping so i'm going to try to secure this in here and hopefully that should do it and that's what it looks like installed i did a little bit of notching right in here so i could as it falls off the table a little bit of notching in there so i could move it ahead far enough so i could get enough bite on these screws um it should hold decent like it's not a heavy thing by any means and it like it's on there really solid plus i end up i'm planning on getting a new grill in the future so this is more so temporary so i'm pretty happy with how that looks hopefully it's at a decent angle let's see when it's up and it's on the truck it should be at a pretty decent angle so We'll see. If not, I can always shim it with the supplied shims. So I'm going to put the grill back in the truck and then I can start running these wires into the cab. So with the front camera now installed, I'm gonna turn my attention to this rear camera. Now this camera itself is actually out of a Buick Enclave, um, which is why this is so short. Now I need this to be long enough to get outside the bottom of the tailgate and then have this down at the bottom of the tailgate so if I ever pull it off, I wanna be able to disconnect this. So I'm gonna go ahead and lengthen all six of these wires to be long enough. Then I'll install this in the tailgate. And then on this end, I will find there's two video signal wires, a positive and a negative. 
and then those will get wired on to uh, I'll cut one of the ends off of this RCA and then I'll wire those to those two signal wires so then I just have this to plug straight into the back of the deck and then one of these needs to be grounded and then another one needs ignition power so then I'll have to run it all down the frame and tidy it up nice and get it inside the cab so that's going to be my next challenge. Here I have the rear view camera installed with the new bezel and then I swapped over my lock so it's coded to my key and then I ran the power wire down the frame rail with the factory wiring and then it comes up. I have it coming up under the floor mat uh, where the transmission shifter comes out and then here it is right here. I just have it coming out under the carpet there and it's like way longer than it needs to be so this would work on a lot of different applications because this is crazy long um so yeah i just have the end right here and then it'll get wired up to my deck once it's in there so the next thing i need to address is the fact that that deck that i'm putting in has a rear usb input and the usb input is actually very important because that's how your carplay and your and your android auto works so here i have this also off amazon it's just a round, I don't know the measurement here. It's just a round um, plug essentially with a USB port in it. And then there's a cap and then a couple nuts for it. And then it also comes with this bracket if you wanted to mount this somewhere. But I'm gonna try and take out one of my cigarette lighters that are under my heater controls and put this in place of it just for a nice clean look. And because you don't really need that many cigarette lighters in a truck. definitely be putting the link in the description to this one because I was expecting to have to do some sort of trimming maybe make the hole bigger in order for this to fit but it's literally bolt-in fit like you put it in and even this nut in the back here it just clears all the way around and it it fits perfect I put this facing down just because the factory one is the same way so this one comes down and then you have a nice USB port in there so yeah, I, uh, I think that's a nice clean look and like it fits the circle perfectly. Like I'm really impressed with it. So it was super cheap too, less than 20 bucks. So if you're looking for uh, some sort of alternative to having the cord sticking out of your dash somewhere, this is a really good option. So now these are the final pieces to the puzzle. This is a Pioneer 1400 Nex which should be everything that I want in a deck. I also wanted it to have um, DVD and CD capabilities. Not very many double bins nowadays actually have that. So this is one of the reasons why I went with this deck. Um, here I have the RP5 GM31 interface that allows me to keep steering wheel controls and retain accessory power, and as well as the chimes and a couple of the uh, factory thing, oh, like OnStar and Sirius XM and rear seat controls, that kind of thing. That's all done with this module in here, which is super nice. And then finally a dash kit. Um, these were also purchased off Amazon, pretty much everything was for this whole setup. Um, this was actually a local 
electronics store because they had a good Boxing Day sale on it. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, turn to this, and I'll find the harness that goes from this module to the deck, and then those two have to be wired together. So I'll do that, and then from there, we can probably try plugging this into the truck and making sure everything is gonna work the way it's supposed to. So I have everything in the truck. It's kind of a bit of a mess right now because of this big module and all the wiring that you need. Um, that's kind of how it usually goes. Now I have the deck turned on. Uh, everything seems to work actually as far as audio. Um, and then if we go into here, the problem I ran into with these two cameras, if you were to get say the AVH 1440, as opposed to the 1400 like I have, that has the two uh, camera capabilities, whereas apparently the 1400 doesn't. Even though I have the RCA port on the back of the deck for both rear camera and front camera input, the actual programming in the deck doesn't support the front camera. Because normally, you would go onto camera, and then there should be an icon here to switch between rear and front. Right now I have the front camera plugged into the ports. This is the front. You can see uh, I can turn the high beams on and it changes what it's showing on the camera. And I have no way of actually switching to the rear camera. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna try and find, maybe there's a way you can put some sort of switch on, plug both the cameras into one splitter and then it goes into one and then I can plug that into my rear camera input and then have some sort of switch to toggle between rear and front. Hoping that's what's gonna be able to make this work. I don't know if that's a thing, I guess we'll find out. Now I have the rear camera plugged in to the rear camera port. Go in here. And that's my rear facing camera. So it's honestly not the greatest quality, which kind of sucks. Um, and it looks like this OEM camera is actually in black and white which also kind of sucks, but it's just the way it works, I guess. And then if I put it in reverse, it comes up as well. So it's nice to have, um, and I can see the hitch right there, which is perfect. Um, it is offset to one side because that's the way the handle is set up, but that's just the way she works. So yeah, for now, I'm just gonna kind of put everything back in here, try to stuff it all into the dash somehow. And then maybe take a look on Amazon, see if such a thing exists as far as that RCA splitter. So yeah, for now, it's just gonna go back together and I'll just have the rear camera hooked up in the front, not working at the moment. So I did manage to get everything stuffed in behind here. It is really tight. Um, that blue module, I actually kind of have it sitting down here because this is actually only about that deep. So I was able to actually kind of fit it in there. Like I said, it is really tight and the couple RCA cables on this side are actually pushing up against the back of the dash. So I ordered some 90 degree adapters. So hopefully that should give me just a little bit of room so they're not pressed right up against there. And I did cut a little bit of plastic out on the back just to make a little bit more clearance, mainly for the USB cable. So here's kind of the completed look. I really love how clean that is with the USB going into there. And then I still have my cigarette lighter down there. And then this is what the deck looks like with the iPhone hooked up to it. Obviously I can't play sound right now because I'm taking a video, but when you click on it, it goes to the iPhone screen, which is awesome. And then your messages are in here, which is sweet. The maps works really well. And then you go here, like it'll tell you 
literally anything. And then if you go into your library, you can click on like anything you want. A whole bunch of different playlists. And yeah, CarPlay is super awesome. Like I love how it looks like an iPhone in your dash. That's sweet. And to be able to do text messages as well. Obviously you'd want to do audio while you're driving, but to have it all come up on the display is super nice. I'm really happy with how all this fits and how it's all working together. So I did actually look on Amazon and there is such a thing as like a camera splitter is what they call it. Now the only one I found that's actually for 12 volt automotive use has four inputs. You're supposed to do a front, a rear, and one on each mirror, I think. Like it's supposed to be sides. So I'd imagine you'd want to put them on the mirrors. And then you have just the one output that would go into the back of the deck. Um, and then it's wireless. So you actually have just a round remote, which is really nice. You don't have to deal with any wiring with a stupid switch or anything like that. It's just a remote to switch between uh, front and rear side to side. So I don't know if I'll do the side cameras yet. I might try and figure out a way to do it just because it has that capability. But I do have one of those on order as well as the 90 degree um, RCA adapters. Hopefully that makes everything fit a little bit better. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you like this install. Hopefully it helped you if you have any vehicle with one of these decks in them. And the Pioneer deck that I have is a fairly budget-friendly option. It's kind of lower on the technology end, like it's still got some outdated graphics. But once you have your phone plugged in uh, with the CarPlay, it looks exactly like an iPhone, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I can't say how the Android Auto works because I don't have anything Android to test it out with, but I love how the, the iPhone works with the CarPlay. So. so if you're not already, be sure to subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming with that truck. Let's just say next video, the headliner's coming out. That's all I'm going to say, but you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So be sure to like this video, be sure to comment, and we'll see you guys in the next one.